Here we go. Bob Maloney from MMANews.com, and I am joined by Ty Harris. Ty has a big fight coming up at CFFC on Saturday this week. He's 2-0 and as an amateur, and he's got a lot of talent, and he's probably going to be a, a future professional fighter, but it's one yeah. fight at a time right now, one camp at a time. Ty, talk to me about this camp, how your body's feeling. It's not your first rodeo. You've had two amateur fights. You're still learning, but how's the body feeling? What's going through your mind? Body's feeling great, bro. Body's feeling great. You know, I'm not overtraining. I'm doing exactly what I need to do. You know, I'm not in there trying to lift the heaviest amount of weights. I'm not in there trying to beat up everybody in the gym. I'm taking my time, working with the science, and just doing exactly what I got to do. My body's feeling recovered, and we're just taking it day by day now at this point. Everything's been good. Okay, now listen, your path into mixed martial arts, did you just – you know, joined Stout and all of a sudden started training. You want to become a fighter? Were you a wrestler when you were a youngster? What was your path that led you to fall in love with mixed martial arts enough that you wanted to get in the cage and, and really fight? Um, I had no aspiration of ever being a fighter before. You know, if you would have come to me at 22 and told me this is what I'll be doing at 23 and on, I'd have called you crazy. I literally walked into Stout, just wanted to lose a little bit of weight. I did it. I did the program for like a week and I just fell in love with it so soon. And I had my first fight, which was kickboxing after about 14 months of training. And then, you know, the pandemic had hit. So that laid off, that laid me off for like over a year. If the pandemic never happened, I would have had at least another five fights in between my most recent MMA fight back in what was that March? So, yep. Uh, yeah, I just walked in and fell in love with the sport immediately. You know, everything just felt right. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to hang here and just see where it go. It makes the train when you're enjoying it, it makes the training and that was endorphins. It makes it better for you. I can completely understand. Talk to me. Listen, Nick Caracappa, you're fighting him and there's not a lot of film. There's a couple clips here and there because you guys are still young in your career. Tell me how you're looking at this fight and uh, how you see it going. Uh, I see it going my way. I see it, definitely see it going my way. Um, but what I know about Nick, so far that he's a good wrestler, but he's fancying himself as a striker, you know, and what I don't want him to do, given like, this is unusual, but fighter to fire tip, I wouldn't think that was, is going to work on me too much. I'd stick to what I know. Not saying that's going to work either, but it's like, I'm, I'm not coming to play no games with him. I'm sure he's not going to play no games with me, but it's like, if you have a stronger asset, than what you're trying to represent yourself as, then I would, I would lean towards that, you know, because I'm, I'm coming for some heat. I'm not coming to play no games at all. That's awesome. That's awesome. So tell me about the room over there. Tell me who's going to be working your corner, who your coaches are. And I know you got some high levels and some really good skilled guys that are training with you in camp to get you ready. Let's give them some love. 100%. Uh, I'm going to have Mike Wilkins, uh, former Bellator fighter. I'm going to have uh, Coach Will Morrill with me as well. They're going to be cornering me that night. But my, my other coaches is Chris Brookins as well. Great Muay Thai fighter. Um, yeah, we're ready. We're, we're ready. We're ready. You know, we've been putting in the work. We've been grinding. We've, we've studied as much film as we can. We've done the drills. We got my body right. My cardio is right. My power is where it needs to be. My pop, my speed, everything. Everything's been coming together. My teammates, Brittany, Allen, Mason, Jeff, Jeffrey, they've been giving me all the rounds I can ask for, all the work I need, all the tips I need everything for me so everything. how does the, how does your family feel about you know you 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 you, you know pursuing fighting how, you know give them some love too i'm sure listen it's it's a lonely lonely room in, in in that cage but when you're outside of that cage is when you need all that support so Ooh. how do they feel about it and you know give them some shout outs you were not lying it is a very lonely sport <laughs> it is a very lonely sport but um, my dad, he freaking loves it. He loves it. He was a professional boxer. He went 12 and 2. He loves the fact that I picked up fighting. Even though as a kid, he didn't want me doing that. He kind of kept it away from me. But now that I'm an adult now doing it, and he's seeing I'm having some success with it, he, he couldn't be happier. He's like full-on support mode. He was a little he was a little shaken up by me doing MMA because my his first MMA fight he came to, he thought it was a Muay Thai fight. So when he walked in and seen a cage, it was just like a whole flip of emotions. It was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mom, she hates it, but she supports me. She don't want to see me get hurt or whatever. That's a mom, right? That's normal. Yeah, but she support me, though. 
good, They're good. Excited. I'm doing something positive, you know, just out here, just doing what I want, living what I want to do. Well, listen, Ty Harris, man, best of luck to you. I hope this is the first time of many we get to talk. Good luck in your Absolutely. future endeavors, man. And, uh, you know, you got a good head on your shoulders, and this is going to be you. a great fight. And uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. Like I said, I hope you get out of this healthy. And we're talking again in, in, in six, or, six or eight weeks, and you're ready for another camp. So okay. pleasure meeting you. Pleasure talking to you. Ty Harris, my man, getting down at CFFC this weekend. Take care, brother. You too. Appreciate you, Bob. Thank you.